Hello everyone, Jonathan Kwan here. Now, contrary to popular belief, there are things in life that makes less sense than this. Actually, I'm not too sure about that. Well, anyway, um, so what I'm trying to say is I was surfing some so-called car enthusiast forums lately and there are those fast and furious types who thinks that tinting their headlights are cool. Well, let me tell you this, it's not. It defeats the very purpose of what headlights are designed for. In the same way, I know a lot of people who would walk around proudly with their Apple iPhone 5 and go like, whoa, look at it. its beautiful design, its incredible thinness and its timeless beauty. And I would agree with that until they put it in some big, fat and ugly case for protection. Honestly, what's the point? Sure, it protects your phone from being scratched or damaged, but with that big, fat and ugly case on it, it's not like you will ever get to enjoy its original beauty anyway. Like tinting your headlights, it defeats the very purpose of what it is designed for. Now, back in the days when the dinosaurs were still roaming the earth and creatives still made cool digital audio players, I had a creative Zen Vision M. Now, to protect this rather brick of a device from being scratched, I decided that I don't want a case. Um, not, not that it has a lot of intrinsic beauty anyway, if you take a closer look, but this is besides a point. So I went to a company called best skins ever. Using the same 3M clear film material used to protect helicopter blades as well as the front end of your car from rock chips, it promises the same level of robust protection for electronic devices, all without destroying the look when you put on big and bulky cases. Now that the dinosaurs have long since died out and so has creative's market share in the digital audio player markets, today we're going to take a look at the total body skin for the Apple iPhone 5 as well as my... Right, my Google Nexus 4. The installation is actually quite simple. All you need is some water, soap, and a plastic card. And of course, you'll need the best skins ever uh, total body skin for your respective devices. So here I got an iPhone 5, I got the iPhone 5 total body skin, and I also got the Nexus 4 as aforementioned and its total body skin. To start, turn off your phone and clean the surface really well. Make sure there are no fingerprint marks or dust on the surface. Next, put a bit of soap in the water. Peel off the best skins ever skin, dip it in the soap water you have prepared earlier, and apply it to your device. Take your plastic card and ensure all the bubbles are worked out. Wait for it to dry and well, that's it. As far as the level of protection is concerned, obviously it won't prevent your device from being damaged if you drop it. So if you're the not so careful type, you might still need to use one of those big fat and ugly cases. However, for the rest of the time, it will protect it from everyday scratches. Its custom cut skin is done really nicely. Its flexible material wraps around corners really well and sticks to the surface and offers very robust protection for both my Google Nexus 4 and iPhone 5. Um, this is especially important for somewhat uneven surfaces like the back of the iPhone 5. It will need, not leave any uneven bubbles uh, in, on the surface. So to see how it performs in real life, here I got a set of car keys and a dollar coin. And here's the dollar coin, let's see how it holds up. Not bad, now let's see about the car keys. Well, can't argue against the results. My iPhone made it out without a single scratch, literally. Of course, there are some downsides to the best skins ever, total body skin. Um, yes, it is extremely scratch resistant, but the film is also kind of thick. The orange peel texture on the skin may bother some people. Also, if you own a device that is not black, the skin will turn a bit yellow over time, and this may also bother some people. 
for obtuse cut edges, it may peel a bit over time and allow minute amounts of dust to slide in. Also, dirt may settle along the edges of a skin. The good news is you can always peel off the best skin's ever total body skin and reapply it even weeks or months after using a water solution as long as you don't stretch it when you remove the skin. It is also easy to apply the best skin's ever total body skin in the first place. Um, in my personal opinion, the best skin's ever total body skin is probably still the best invisible protection out there for your smartphone or your favorite electronic devices. I would give this product an 8 out of 10 and an APH recommended. If you have any questions about this product, please visit our forums at aphnetworks.com slash forums. Until next time, thanks for watching another episode of APH TV.